assistance for the auto industry, electric power, and a new partner. Those are some of the significant stories this week on to the Pentastar. Chrysler Chairman and Chief Executive Bob Nardelli testified before Congress this week on the need for a temporary bridge loan to help the automaker through the recession. As a condition of the loans, Nardelli said he would accept a salary of just one dollar a year, a symbol of the changes he's making at Chrysler. Mr. Chairman, being new to the auto industry, I recognize the need to challenge the status quo and to seek significant change. Change is the only constant we know at Chrysler today and throughout our businesses. Chrysler is making those changes. Developments were moving quickly on Capitol Hill. Although no vote on a bridge loan was taken, Republicans and Democrats agreed that action is needed. Late Thursday, Chrysler said in response to a request from congressional leaders for a business plan that, quote, Chrysler LLC appreciated the opportunity to appear before Congress the past two days and looks forward to reviewing its plan in detail in the near future. The company is prepared to meet the accountability and viability criteria laid out today and is ready to provide its plans for returning Chrysler to profitability as we move forward beyond this unprecedented financial crisis. Chrysler is changing and will continue to change. Chrysler electric vehicles are off and racing. In the shadow of the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California, West Coast journalists experienced firsthand the electric power and performance of Chrysler's trio of EV vehicles, the Chrysler EV, the Jeep EV, and the Dodge EV before the Los Angeles Auto Show. Journalists were surprised by the capability of the vehicle, said Doug Quigley, the engineering director for the Envy Group that developed the electric vehicles. The biggest difference they'll feel will be, uh, as we're experiencing right here, a uh, very quiet vehicle and uh, uh, a lot of immediate throttle response for power and torque that they aren't used to, which we think will be uh, positive things. Well, the Dodge EV showed off its instant torque available from its electric drive in a head-to-head -head race with a gasoline-powered vehicle. Well, Chrysler shook hands on a new partnership this week to build fuel-saving advanced axles at a new plant in Marysville, Michigan. Under the partnership with ZF Friedrichshafen AG of Germany, one of the world's leading experts in axle technology, production at the new facility will begin in 2010. This is one of the world's best in technology and axle development. They're leading worldwide supplier in this and they put their products in some of the most advanced vehicles in the world. You take the brand and they're in it. It's Mercedes, BMW, Audi, all the high-end brands in the world. ZF provides products to them and we're happy that we're part of this strategic partnership with them. Well, that's the news this week under the Pedestar. I'm Ed Garston.